Hello again. This is a very typical case I've encountered last week. This is a patient who came to us like this, saying that he helped somebody. He prevented someone from falling off a cliff and he heard a noise and an important pain and then he had this bump here. This is a clinical diagnosis. Really doesn't require any imaging at all. It is a rupture of the long head of the biceps which should come here through this bicipital groove to the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. But the requirement was to perform an MRI of the shoulder and the arm and we did that. I will show you this examination. That was quite a difficult examination because the patient was, was massive but nevertheless we managed to see that the bump was the muscle belly of the long head of the biceps and if we take a look from the upper arm down we look for the bicipital groove here and you see there is almost nothing inside what you see here there are some remnants maybe but as long as we go down on on distal arm you see there is no tendon and at some point it starts to appear we actually this is these are sequences from from the shoulder but i need only the sequence from the arm the upper arm so if we continue from this part when where we didn't have any tendon seen now there is something appearing here and this is the tendon which is enlarged and it is retracted like around 10 centimeters this is the muscle with a small amount of inter edema. This is the coronal view of the same patient. You see there are some signal changes inside the muscle belly due to the rupture. But we need to see also other pathology of the shoulder because the patient had an MRI of the shoulder also. And we see here there is a complete tear of the supraspinatus tendon, which is retracted also here. And there is no tendon from here to the foot plate, almost two and a half centimeters. If we want to appreciate, to better appreciate the rub, we use this sagit, and on the side we can very well see this is supraspinatus tendon and we are going to humeral head here here and now on the bone it should be attached here on the bone there are no fibers left maybe some couple of fibers here where the supraspinatus intersects with infraspinatus so this is infraspinatus tendon and these are some remnants of the supraspinatus. Here, there is also some tendinopathy of the infraspinatus, of course, bursitis. But what is this structure? Well, this structure, if we follow this structure, we see it goes all the way to the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. So, this is what's left of long head of the biceps which is torn retracted inside the joint and with important signal changes there is the same structure here okay here and it goes through here 
we can we can see this also on uh, axials so on axials you see bicipital groove no tendon we go up and there is something wrong here this is the subscapularis tendon and the insertion of the subscapularis is not good it is almost complete completely torn this insertion so we try to appreciate this on sagittal and you see this is the tendon and this is the muscle belly of the subscap this is tendon 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 three fascicle and this upper fascicle coming to the bone and then this torn there is fluid here and there is no way that this tendon is intact in fact almost half of the tendon is torn from the smaller tuberosity of the humeral head so before the biceps ruptured he managed to wrap subscapularis tendon and also supraspinatus and now we have fluid also here in the bursa and in subacromial that was a very typical case usually ultrasound is enough to decide this but also the clinic the clinical aspects are very important thank you for watching me if you like my content please subscribe share or i don't know like my videos